Welcome to February. I know I'm always a few days late, but hey, it doesn't really matter. This is when February is starting for us in our educational series. And I thought about it and said, what do we talk about this month? I know that last year in February, I talked about relationships and that was simply because we celebrate Valentine in February. And then looking at it again, I have decided that maybe, just maybe, we should stick with that formula of talking relationships in February, particularly because February is such a relationship time for me. I mean, who has two birthdays in the family and then Valentine in one month? Uh -uh, that one will break the budget. But it just tells me that this is a time to focus on the people in my life. And I think that because of that, I should talk about relationships this month. So we're going to be talking about how to create valuable relationships and how to maintain them. Last month, we talked about goal setting and goal getting. And for me, it doesn't matter how big, how awesome, or how small your goals are, you're actually going to need the help of people to make it come to pass. So, this month, why don't you let's even talk a bit about how to build these relationships, how to get people in your corner, how to get people who would help you make your dreams come to pass. I'll start right up, straight up. This is not an introductory video. We are going straight to business. The very first thing I am going to... <gasps> show is 40 today. Show a little... Oh, sorry. Show a kiola because I'm sure the husband will not take that lightly. Happy birthday. As I was saying, the very, very first thing we are going to talk about is the value you attach to people. You must make sure that you value people every day, all the time. What do I mean by every day and all the time? I mean that if you understand that people are valuable, you should treat them like that consistently every time. So it doesn't matter the stature because some of us tend to trivialize some people maybe because of their age or because of their status or because of their size or because of their educational status or levels, you know, does this one have the power to give me what I'm looking for? It doesn't really matter who it is. There is a basic value you need to attach to everybody you come in contact with that actually makes you a more valuable person to everybody around you because they realize that you're not treating them based on what you're going to get from them. Let me give an example that shows that the value you attach to people should not be affected by what you see or what you think you know. And that is, of course, my favorite Colgate example. There's this advert that plays on TV, Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. I find this advert very annoying because a mother comes back home with a shopping bag and the children run to her and ask her what she's brought for them. And all she has to say is that she has brought Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. And I'm like, how do your children run to you and then you give them toothpaste? But guess what that has, advert has done in our house? It has made my youngest, a, an almost five-year-old, love toothpaste so much that he brushes at night every day now without being begged or cajoled or offered anything. Now, more than that, his attachment to that advert has made me begin to buy Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection because that's the toothpaste he likes. Now, if you wanted to sell me toothpaste, you'd probably think, hmm, who makes the buying decisions in the family and then make a proposition to that person? You would not know that the choice of toothpaste is actually dictated by one young man that loves that particular advert. So, what am I saying? Even when you're estimating people, you probably think that the wife of the rich man or the wife of the person you're submitting a grant, uh, a proposal for a grant to is the person to get close to. No, it might just be that man's driver that is always there when he's tired, that is there when everybody else is gone. That'll be able to speak a word that will make a difference to what you're trying to do. So the essence of all this explanation is to tell you that everybody matters and you should treat them like they do. Um, we'll continue tomorrow, but last month we had a very, very good ride and I'm thinking of taking this thing to TV. I need you to give me feedback. Do you think we should go global? I mean, global television. Drop me a comment, give me feedback. Let's know if you think we should do this. If you think we should, then I'll definitely go with you because you've been with me for a while. So see you tomorrow when we continue to talk about creating valuable relationships. Let me see.